Welcome, my friends, to another edition of God's Awesome Creation. You know, as I look around the world, um, I am always awestruck at the incredible diversity which our Father made for us to enjoy. I hope I never lose that feeling. This time, let's look at a very unique member of the uh, tree family, the ginkgo, also known as the living fossil. Its scientific name is ginkgo biloba <clears throat> and is sometimes called the maiden here uh, tree. The tree is easily recognizable by the primitive fan-shaped leaves, which, by the way, turn a bright yellow in the fall. The young trees have a narrow, sparsely uh, branched crown, while mature trees grow up to 80 feet and have broad, cone-shaped crowns. Pollen-bearing and fruit-producing flowers are born on different times at the tree. Uh, smooth, pointed, white-shelled seeds are enclosed in a fleshy fruit which gives off a very offensive odor, much like rancid butter. And as I said in the beginning, the ginkgo is often called the living fossil. This is the only species of a tree family which originated in eastern China and flourished about 130 million years ago. It is doubted that even this one remaining species occurs in the world anywhere, um, anywhere else in the world. God made the ginkgo to be very hardy and grow in a wide range of soils, moisture, and climate conditions. It resists <clears throat> insect pests and thrives along city streets and in parks and gardens. Fruit-bearing trees are avoided because uh, of, the, um, of the very foul odor, um, which once you've smelled it, you will never forget it. And you'll see why people avoid it when it's in that uh, particular cycle of producing seeds. Petrified ginkgos can be seen in the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park in the central part of the state of Washington. A very unique tree. So there you have it, just a brief look at a really amazing and primitive looking tree. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on a single new program here on the Dennis Morrison channel. God bless and have a great day.